to show you a card that I've been making. I had a commission to make a card, sort of Christmas stroke thank you card and um, these are the two stamp sets that I used. We've got the Joanna Sheen House Mouse rubber stamps, uh, Mice and Crafty, so some really cute little images on there. And then I know it doesn't look like it goes at all. And then we've got this um, Art Deco Debbie Moore set of stamps. And basically for this one, all I did was use this uh, wishing you a Merry Christmas on that one. Um, now these stamps um, come out a lot bigger than they appear on the front. And as you can see here, I've made a mask, which I'll show you why shortly. So they're really, really nice stamps to use. I really enjoy them. And obviously, I love the fact that you get to colour them in. So... Um, the reason I used those stamps was that the lady in question is a huge knitter, so that's why I wanted to use those. And this is the card that I made. So, as you can see, um, I have put together my stamps like so. So what I did was, this is Clarity, Car Clarity Stamp Card, it's another company, and I took two pieces. I took this main piece here, which I did second, I put that to one side, and then I stamped out these images two or three times, I think this one I did about three times, and this one here I did two times, and then I did this little ball of wool as well, which is also stamped. Okay, so then I took my main topper piece of card, and I stamped this image flat onto it, sort of slightly lower down, in order to get perspective, if you want one to look in front of the other you need to make this the front image needs to be further down your sheet than the one at the back because in perspective wise it would look further away it would be higher up I mean so then I put my little mask that you saw I'd made put that over the top and then I stamped this image which then brought this one behind this one whoops I then coloured all the images on the scrap piece of paper in were using my pro markers because the, and I did do the one on the main topper sheet but I just did it in a very flat colours just one colour of each sort of like the brown I just did it one brown one of the green whatever just I didn't do any shading at all because there's no point it's just in case you happen to see it from the side and then on these you can see where I've really just tried to get into the shading on this one particularly when I did it, I really used the alcohol in the uh, Pro Markers to get it quite wet. And then I used the other pen to almost streak through the, the wetness of the alcohol. And that really gave it quite a good effect. And then um, I mounted that. Uh, I used 3D glue gel and I made that. I cut them all out, obviously, the spare ones. And then I mounted it using 3D glue gel. And I think that gives it some real nice perspective and then I mounted that onto some holographic silver paper which is really fabulous love that stuff and put that to one side I then obviously I'd coloured this little ball of wool in as well I then took a orange wood stick which I snapped in half I used a pair of scissors and then a nail file to make the points and then I knitted using some anchor tapestry wool, just a little bit of this knitting here. I used 10 stitches by about 10 rows and I just knitted that. And then I took my two needles and I cut them down to size and then I took two beads which were hollow and I put them on the ends but before I did that you've got like the two ends of the bead if you're looking at it like that. On this end in the hole I put a small amount of glue gel and then as I pushed it onto the needle the glue gel pushed through the bead and sort of put it all the way around the needle and it didn't really come out the end too much because you don't need very much and that just held it in place. I then um, started to put together my card, I used hunky dory card and I folded it in half but I put the coloured side on the inside because I knew I was going to cover it so I thought well it's much nicer to have the colour on the inside to make it look pretty on the inside I then used this, I had a scrap of um, K and Co paper which I thought went really really well so I put that across the whole front and then I put this hunky dory um, pink card which I 
punched using a Martha Stewart punch, a new one that I've got, I think. I think it's, uh, no, I think this is one you've seen before. And uh, then we started putting things together. So then I used my glue gel and I adhered the whole topper, which is now obviously all in one piece on the front of the card, slightly off to the left. Then I started putting this together. So I put a piece of glue gel on the back of my ball of wool. I took my little end and I put that in the glue gel. This is before it stuck down. And then I wrapped it around. On the little ball of wool here, you'll see there's like a tail. And I put a tiny bit of glue gel on that tail as well. And then I used that to trail my piece of wool across to my knitting. And then I put plenty of glue gel on the back of my knitting. Now it's quite thick, heavy wool, so it wasn't it didn't leak through and also I didn't really give it a good shove down so it pushed through but what I did need to make sure and, and just say to you is that put a piece here and a piece here and also put some glue gel there so that it holds those needles in that position otherwise I found they kind of just slipped down and it didn't quite have the same effect okay and then lastly I just wrapped some of the same wool around the top here three times and just put a knot a little bit closer so you can just have a bit of a better look I just think it's a really really cute image and then there's our little bit of knitting with the wool and you can see from the side I think possibly just some of the glue gel maybe mm, no okay so I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this card with me and uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.